So last summer, Fender came out with these. These are Kunafe wide range humbucking pickups, but for a Jazzmaster. Now, traditionally you would only find these guys in Telecaster Deluxes, but when they announced that they were coming out with a Jazzmaster pickup set, I was immediately intrigued. Now at the time of me recording this video, these are actually the most expensive official Jazzmaster pickup set that you can buy from Fender. These are 400 fucking dollars. Yeah, holy shit. And if you wanted to buy these pickups individually brand new, you'd have to pay 230 to 250 each. Now with that kind of price tag, saying that I had high expectation for these fucking things when I first bought them is an absolute understatement. I expected to install them, and when I started playing the guitar, rainbows would like shoot out of my butthole. I would hear a knock at the door, and it would be my ex-girlfriend begging to get back with me. Maybe the whammy bar would like grow a really big hand that would like feed and clothe me and bathe me every night. I bought these, I think it was July of 2023, and I had them in my Squire J Mascus Jazz Master for a little over half a year. So I do think that I have really, really good experience with these. And note that they are not the pickups that are in the guitar right now. And I kind of just wanted to get my thoughts out of the way right off the bat. I don't like these things. Um, I gigged with these, I recorded with these, I practiced a lot with these over the past half year or so. And they're just not for me. And more importantly, I just don't think that they're worth the price. And I understand that the Kunafe magnets are difficult to obtain, they're hard to produce, or whatever the fuck Fender's been saying all these years. but Looking at this from the standpoint of just a product, okay? This is a product that you would pay $400 for to have a different sound for your guitar. Is this a $400 worth of change for your sound? And I just don't really think it's worth it. Now, is that to say that you won't like these? No, of course not. You might love these. And is that to say that you just shouldn't buy expensive pickups and expensive parts for your guitar? No, of course not. You know, if you like it and it works for you and it's within your personal budget, then, you know, all power to you. But for me personally, for the regular college kid that's in a little surf rock band with his friends, were these worth $400? No. And they just weren't really for my sound. Now, wide range humbuckers in general aren't going to give you that traditional sort of PAF humbucker kind of sound. They're their own unique thing. They're trying to do the sort of sparkly clean fender tone, but in the form of a humbucker. So they have a truly unique and odd sound to them that I do like traditionally, but just in a Jazzmaster, I just don't think it worked really well. Now, the best way I can describe the sound of these things is they are very large and wide, but with not a whole lot in the middle. There's not a lot of body to the sound and there just wasn't really any amount of EQing that I could do on the amp or in my DAW to sort of compensate for this, for the sound that I liked. And I even tried different kinds of pots for these things. Um, I, of course, used the one meg pots at first. Those are the traditional pots that you'd find in a Jazzmaster. Those are also the pots that I used in the sound demo for this video. I also tried 500K pots. Was not much of a difference. Um, when I switched to 250K pots, it sounded really muddy and shitty and I just kind of angrily took them back out right away. I listen to a lot of shoegaze music, which is traditionally played with offset guitars, such as most famously the Jazzmaster. And I just sort of thought, you know, if I had a humbucker in it, that would maybe help with the high gain stuff and the distortion and stuff. Um, but these definitely were not the way to go. Of course, these were not intended to be high gain pickups. They're not meant to be for shoegaze, but I just wanted to see how they would sound. I just wanted to try them out and yeah, I just didn't really like them. I almost feel bad for the amount of pickups I've had in this thing. I had the original pickups, of course, when I first bought it. Then I tried the Pure Vintage 65 pickups. I tried the J-Master's signature set. And then I tried these. And honestly, out of all of those pickup sets, I liked these the least. And all of these months later, I am back to just having the stock pickups in. Honestly, the stock pickups in the J-Master's signature Jazzmaster, I think are great. Honestly, they're kind of slept on because I see a lot of people buying these, myself included, and immediately thinking, oh, it's a Squire guitar. I need to upgrade it. I need to get like something expensive to put into it. But honestly, the pickups that come with these is just great. I love them. So in summary, these just weren't for me. Now, the point of this video isn't to be going out and saying like, oh, you can't like these. Don't buy these because I didn't like them. You can't like them. You can't fucking like these. I didn't like them. So that means that you can't fucking like them. But that's not what I'm trying to say. They just didn't work out for me personally. And for me personally, they just weren't worth the price. But now onto the sound demos. I had one meg pots in my Jazzmaster when recording them since I just figured those are the traditional Jazzmaster pot values. 
and I recorded using my Fender Tone Master Twin Reverb, mic'd up with a Sennheiser E906, going into a Volt 276 interface.
you're in the play, right? Indeed. How, how is that going? Well, it's it's going cheerfully thus far. 